Speaking of Ben Shapiro's work in the media fields, have you guys heard about that Daily Wire movie that Gina Carino Carino was in? Uh, the one oh, that yeah, she the had. blockbuster blockbuster the, hit. Yeah, the blockbuster well, she, hit. My Son Hunter or a different one? No, the she, pra- uh, Terror on the Prairie or something like oh. that. Oh, yeah. I, I, I've Wire. seen a trailer for that. She was so good in the Hunter Biden movie. I So I'm excited to see what's next for her. I know. Right, she well, really well, like elongated her hair so that it could be sniffed uh, so delicately by Biden from the back seat. That filmography well, big, is going to be crazy. It's like Fast and Furious and like My Son <laughs> Yeah, right. The, the, <gasps> the big news, though, the reason that was all it was in the that film came up in the discourse was because it was released in theaters and it made a total of eight hundred and four dollars, which seems to be the lowest uh, sort of uh, revenue of, for a movie in history that was in the number of theater, theaters that Terror on the Prairie was in. So uh, congratulations from Record going to... Record breaker. Yeah, Records congratulations for going to Star Wars to uh, <laughs> to this, Gina Carano. My yeah. God. I mean, the ticket sales are being shadow banned. We it's all know it's a huge bummer for me because she's in one of my favorite Steven Soderbergh movies, Haywire, which is a great fun watch. Oh, um, really? And she's a she does a really good like action performance in that movie. And she's just seemingly a real reactionary freak. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. She's she's been in some because she was an early MMA star in the women's divisions before the UFC launched their women's division. And by the time they did, she was, you know, she was out of the the age range where she could actually perform at the level she once did. So she missed even though she was like one of the 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 like trailblazers in MMA for for women's competition. She missed out on the the, you know, the, the pomp and circumstances and the money, obviously. And so she had to sort of uh, try to get into using a stunt and actor career out of this. Uh, unfortunately for her, uh, that world doesn't take kindly to spreading anti-Semitic uh, photo, uh, photos. So, uh, <laughs> so sorry, uh, Gina Carano. And she was uh, uh, then, after uh, spreading anti-Semitic uh, photos, hired by uh, Ben Shapiro to be a part of the Daily Wire production team. So just like an exa- and uh, who also still employs. Uh, uh, Candace Owens, who was apologizing for anti-Semitism on the reg. So just a reminder of where his uh, true loyalty is. Should we watch lie. this trailer? Sure. The, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, Terror on oh, yeah, the Prairies. Because yeah. um, I, 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 I do say, like, there's so many movies I want to see, and I sometimes miss them. So, What do you uh, think the terror is? Do you think it's, like, Muslims? Uh, I think it's, uh, might be, might be uh, migrants. I think it's migrants. I, I, oh, yeah. Oh, it's definitely, like, you know, maybe Mexicans. Foothills in the prairie, but whatever. You know who I am. I have no doubt that God will forgive you. But I hate God. Are they hunting Christians? Oh my gosh. How are we gonna make it out here? I know it's been hard. This is our dream, Hetty. Build a home on land we can call our own. Thank you, thank you, Uncle Sam. We're gonna shoot that snake in the baby. (laughs) You got your mom down, won't you? But she didn't. A nightmare they never expect. Anti-abortion. There, she could have shot her baby. Mighty fine morning to you, ma'am. And to you. Is your husband at home? Does he believe? Get behind the stove with your the sister. The south is wrong. They came looking for your pa. That's why they're, <laughs> they're taking their time. Just take what you want and go. But what we want is you. Your father's walking into a trap. It's our turn to protect him. She is a sensible woman. Mrs. McAllister ain't cut out for this one. Oh, man, this is good, This is a yeah, yeah, tough zone in this territory. It's like a prequel. By the way, they've it's not crazy. changed sets once. I feel God's wrath. Like a siege movie, like a Assault on Precinct 13. Okay, so 
all we're really getting here is there's some bad guys and you might need a gun. I to, can't believe right. Cowboy Cerrone, a, a UFC fighter, is in this movie. Wow. Well, they. I mean, so I guess well, I didn't all... see this coming, but this was just standard, uh, standard Republican fantasy of yeah. self-defense with a gun from here, the home. Invader. Here's the funny thing, though. Some some of Ben Shapiro's fans, some Daily Wire fans, have been complaining about the movie being too woke because Gina Carano's character is too strong and she's a woman, obviously, and that can't be the I case. I was getting those vibes. I'm like, what is this? Are you trying to like a little feminist? Yeah. I mean, why so, isn't the man doing the shooting? Exactly. A little bit well, unrealistic. Well, I, <laughs> so she, I'm she, they, they, they threw the line in for her too to give themselves an out. We 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 need to you know protect him for once, she says, talking about the father who's gonna walk into the trap. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, they even tried to give themselves the out there, saying, No, no, listen, guys, I swear this the man exception. usually does all the work. Yeah, this was a one time deal, please. <laughs> Well, um, try to look I, up the budget for this film. Anybody, uh, anybody have a sense of that? I feel like it, it's going to be definitely be above a million dollars. Mm. Um, Seventy-five million estimated from IMDb. Seventy-five? No way! No b- bullshit! Bullshit! That's that, that, delicious. I am IMDb estimates are mm. notoriously off. Maybe five million. If it's seventy-five million, then, it, like, then somebody hilarious. needs to look in. Somebody well needs done, to look Gina. into the the production. Somebody needs to look into the production of this movie. Shout out Gina's uh, agent if that's how much that cost. Um, I would also say um, uh, she posted two days ago. I didn't fumble the bag. I just didn't go along with the sellout narrative. Mm. The online mob couldn't handle that, so they petitioned to have me fired and won. I'm not sorry for that. I stood for what I believe uh, the right thing to do was, and more time that goes by, the better I feel. The genuine... Uh, hold on. Um, the genuine bag fumble is sellout journalists like you who sold out America and stopped asking questions like the, liked by the fickle manipulated mob. Manipulated by who? Is it those... <laughs> uh, hook nosed folks that yeah, you're talking right. about. Yeah. Like, um, that is what you valued, and that will be your legacy. She's responding so. to a journalist, uh, a Hollywood reporter, uh, writer, um, pointing out that uh, her most recent movie made an $804 box, box office net return, 804. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's nice. All that money from just remaining on The Mandalorian and chose not to because she can't. Uh, say that oh, and they're trying to give a spin-off show to literally lost. anybody that has like any like association with Star Wars. They're expanding that universe quickly, so she could have had her own show with this. I mean, I, certainly, in, unless the uh, the article about the movie based on that trailer, like the headline was like "True Grit," period, true shit, then it was probably too nice because, frankly, it looks like a Lifetime movie or like a Hallmark movie that, you know, a made for TV movie. Same with like the TV soundtrack in the background. Uh, and they already have conservative movies. Like, I don't really understand the Daily yeah. Wire's like movie audience because like as someone who watches Lifetime movies, they're all very conservative. They're all aimed at the people in the suburbs who right. like, Republicans yeah. are making these movies for. The yeah. only thing is that they're just not explicitly racist. Watch Clint Eastwood movies. Every horror movie yeah. is, is basically implying like you should get a gun in right. case <laughs> something happens. Yeah. Protect yourself. We don't need another a movie with that agenda. Yeah. We actually need to have a violent standoff <laughs> and of someone trying to kill you. <laughs> that's what's disappointing about this is like you what is the point of a Ben Shapiro film studio if it's just going to be slightly more right wing versions of like um, standard fare like uh, this could be written by an AI honestly schlock yeah. uh, this I've is seen... like those movies that Bruce Willis has been getting paid for to do yes, just goes exactly. coming directly yeah. out on streaming and DVD and stuff it's just like that the ones that have been have... taking advantage of him in his in his state yeah those ones I have the Lifetime movie streaming app uh, you know, and you t- I get like all of the Lifetime movies immediately to my app before, you know, they even drop on the channel sometimes. And so I can say with quite a lot of confidence that there must be at least a dozen movies on the Lifetime movie channel app, you know, rotating, of course, that look exactly the same as this, except with better actors and actresses, you know, maybe not necessarily, you know, with as much name recognition, although I think it's one with Shannon Doherty. So sometimes more name recognition, uh, but certainly with like actually working actors who are going to like, you know, actually do a good job I mean, without like dropping and yeah, there, was that, there was panic that panic room there was that oh yeah fourth whitaker right yeah. Kristen that's, a, Stewart. that's a great movie Young Kristen that's, Stewart. Yeah. i mean like that, but they, these are all versions of panic room yeah right they, they just they just made a new version of panic room on lifetime channel there you go 
And also, there's that new station uh, that stole all those uh, actors and actresses from the from Hallmark Channel. What's it called? Oh, Great American Family. Mm-hmm. It was in the news because they uh, signed Candace Cameron to a deal, taking her away from all the Hallmark movies she used to be in. Ooh. And and the whole deal with this channel is it's Hallmark movies, but focusing on Christian Christianity and Christian values and the family and things. As if Hallmark wasn't already doing that, but just not explicitly saying we are Christians. You know, the like. Christ- the Christian Mingle oh, movie. The Christian Mingle movie has a uh, Gretchen Wiener in it. A uh, Lacey Chabert, the one who plays. Mm. Uh, she's big in those, in, like the Hallmark movie, Christian movie uh, sort of circuit. Like her, Melissa Joan Hart, obviously, um, uh, Mario Lopez. So you know, if you're I, ever want to see Sabrina the Teenage Witch, you can watch a movie about a baker. But I mean, all Hallmark movies are already just like copies of basic like 1980s rom coms. Like they're all just versions of like Sleepless in Seattle, uh, you know, yeah. where like the two competing bakeries or two competing bookstores or two competing. There's, there's, there's a Hanukkah one that came out and it's two competing rye bread bakeries. So, you know, they, <laughs> they do not. 